What is up guys? Welcome back to Pokemon News Daily for Tuesday, April 16th, 2019. I'm your host, Daddy Gamer Fred, bringing you a daily news show where we go over all the Pokemon news for today, from official news to the leaks to the rumors spamming across all medias of Pokemon, from the games to the movies to the anime. So if you want to be kept in the loop with the latest news, make sure you are subscribed right now with those notifications turned on. If you like today's video, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to leave a comment as well, as I do take time out of my day to reply to all comments left on all all of my videos so let me know your thoughts on today's topics but without no further ado let's jump right into the news and now the first news topic today is going to be a quick look at a brand new pokemon size chart collection from kanto to aloha and yes this is a book i know there isn't a lot to talk about today so this is going to be a quicker video but i am going to go over a few more topics than just this book so do bear with me and i do think this is something cool that any pokemon fan and will want to add to their collection. The book comes with seven full-size posters for each region, each with a full-size chart of all the newly added Pokemon for their respective regions. I think this is cool. I love the idea. Now, I have to agree with Joe from Serebii on this, and he kind of wishes that they would have waited to Sword and Shield would have been out officially, so we could have got the Gala region included in this book because they're probably going to just reissue the book probably next year with the gala region and sell it to us again and it like begs the question do we wait till there's an updated one with the gala region pokemon because we know we're gonna get new pokemon this year why will we get a you know size chart comparing all the pokemon without those that are included in the brand new region but it still looks pretty cool i'm gonna leave the link to the article from the pokemon website just in case you guys want to check it out and add this book to your pokemon collection now moving on to some pokemon go news it kind of feels like every day we're getting a brand new in-game event and today is no different today starts the easter egg extravaganza 2019 event inside of pokemon go this event will end on april 23rd giving players about a full week to participate this event provides two time hatch candy on eggs two time incubator effectiveness one hour lucky eggs and it puts a variety of baby pokemon back into 2k eggs we'll be getting brand new unique field research and the highlight of this event will be getting introduced to a brand new shiny shiny bunt ray and lumpy the bunny pokemon from generation 4. now new outfits had been added to the game including free dress t-shirts and shorts for limited time boxes are now live in the item shop and apparently people have been getting shiny iggly buff hatching from 2k eggs i'm gonna share some screenshots of some of the players that have found this again it's not 100 percent confirmed this wasn't announced by the pokemon company but they usually always do this sneak in a shiny or two with events especially this egg event we had this happen last year where they, i think they snuck in the shiny magmar and smush them i could be wrong on that let me know in the comment section below but overall this is a great event it's adding shiny bunnies to the game for easter which is a no-brainer i love it when they add new clothing options and with them being free that's a plus these limited time boxes are okay if i had enough coins i'd probably grab the adventure box for these incubators so I could burn through them for this event. But everything is nothing too special. The shiny Iggly buff, if true, is cool. And again, like I said, I believe in the last egg extravaganza event, they added new baby Pokemon that were shiny. So this would make sense if they were gonna add Iggly buff shiny this way, which again makes Jigglypuff able to be captured in the game shiny and as well as Wigglytuff. And I love those eye changes on the shinies. So this is pretty cool to see. Let me know what you're most excited about this event. And yes, I tried to throw that pun in there but it didn't work in the comment section below and now you're going to be participating during this event i'm already participating i want that shiny bunny it looks pretty cool the pink one and iggly buff am i going to be hunting for it probably not but if i do pop an egg with iggly buff in it that'd be awesome and to close out today's Pokemon Gold news, like I said, this is going to be a quick one. We got the date on when we're going to be allowed to purchase the Pokemon Gold Fest tickets. So tickets open up on April 22nd. Again, mark your calendars. Tickets open up on April 22nd, and it was going to last until April 24th. So players can purchase up to four tickets, which sound about fair in my opinion. Let me know if 
you're going to be trying to get your hands on these tickets to go to Pokemon Go Fest 2019. Now, that's pretty much it, guys. I told you this is going to be a quick episode today. Not a lot of news today, but we did get the egg extravaganza event. So let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below, as well as the date for when we're going to be able to buy these tickets, as well as a brand new book that was posted up on the Pokemon website. Let me know if you're going to be getting yourself this size comparison book in the comment section below. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Pokemon News Daily. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.